sorry. Welcome to my first video. Today I'll be talking about priming, assembling, gluing, cleaning, and base coating your uh, miniature. Uh, we're going to be working on a Space Marine. So I have a Space Marine here and I show it already primed. One of the things I wanted to talk about is you can prime your miniature, but you don't have to glue it primed. So that you can take it apart if you want to and paint it with the stuff disassembled. Um, if you do this, then it allows you to easy access to, to get the, if you can see the uh, underneath where the, uh, the the angel wings are for this character, it's underneath the gun, so it's kind of hard to get to them. Same thing with the back, it's easier to get to the back pieces and get the, the, the backpack if it is disassembled. However, like most people, people like to play the game right away, so they glue their miniatures together. I am going to actually show you how to paint it with an assembled miniature because the average person likes to play right away as opposed to the uh, the person who has a lot of extra time and can do the extra work. One also thing in this, if you'll notice, you'll see a line right here along the miniature's leg. That has resulted not cleaning the miniature. So if you don't clean it, when you start painting it, that line will show up very well and will show up as, as part of highlights. The person who primed these miniatures for me didn't do the cleaning and I want to leave it that way just to show you what happens if you don't clean it off. But if you do clean it off, you would be simply taking an exacto knife and you just simply go along that, this part right here, scraping it and cleaning it. And we'll see as part of the video painting later on where I clean that part of the leg and left this part and we'll see what happens as part of the demo. So for today's demonstration, let me set that down. I'm going to get out of just a regular paintbrush and some dark green paint. In this case, I happen to be using Citadel's uh, paint. Of course, my paint is about 20 years old, so you'll see it's called Dark Angels Green. But it's the same thing as the, there is a modern day version of it. Uh, it's called a base coat. We're going to hit use this, shake it up. paint the coat. I'm also going to go ahead and put them on the base. That gives me something to hold them with. So here we go. Just and for base coat you're simply doing it all around, painting the miniature all the way through. You don't have to be nice and neat, you just want to get the paint on there. You don't want to be too much because you want to you don't want to overpaint it blotting it, putting it through, is sufficient for what we need. And you can see dark, this is a very dark coat. In the next video we'll be talking about highlighting with dry brushing. For this video we're just concentrating on putting the whole thing through and I'm not going to actually slow down the videos or cut them to show alright this is what I started with and this is how I ended. Because I want to give you an idea about how long it actually takes to do this. And your first people doing their first time or whatever will take longer because they're not used to it. But as you get going, it will speed up and you'll get a much faster result. See there how it's a little bit harder to get in those cracks and crevices because the gun is assembled. But I'm going to go from the point of view that I'm the average working Joe that likes to play the game and then paint later. Now there's also another way you can do this if you happen to find the same type primer as you have for your base coat you can just spray it on just like you would your primer save yourself a lot of time by priming your your miniature with your spray I generally prefer to do this myself because it does save quite a bit of time but it is not the only way
you can see it is it is much more difficult to get that stuff painted because it's a symbol but it is still doable and I've even done sprayed assembled versus sprayed separate and actually that's a lot easier to put together because once you, if you spray the uh, joints it does make it hard to put together so I always spray mine together but there I know some people who will actually not do that and do each individual point and then shave it down so they can put it together later on and that is acceptable as well main thing is you get a good base coat on there the main point of your army and I'm doing dark angels here yeah, it's my son's army but I'm not painting all his I'm actually teaching him using these videos to teach him and he can paint himself because that is the best way to learn is to do it yourself and understand the techniques most of what I will teach is not how to be skilled in your brush but how to use your brush to work for you in the tricks of dry brushing and shading and brush application I will not be teaching you how to be able to write Sanskrit with your paintbrush that's something you just gotta learn by practice but a lot of times you don't need to be that detailed because you can do it with technique and style and not hard hard work alright that appears to be pretty much done there so here we have our miniature primed base coated and ready for painting now we're gonna let this dry in my next video I'll show you how to highlight it with dry brushing thank you very much